Hello, my name's Aston Regis, filmmaker, telling your story through video. And today we're looking at this. It's the Elgato HD 60S Plus. It's a capture card that we're using to connect our PlayStation, PlayStation 4 to our PC. In my case, I'm using an iMac. It is compatible with both PC and Apple. And I'm just gonna take a look at this today. I bought it out of my own money. It's not sponsored by Elgato. So I'm just gonna see whether or not it's worth you purchasing this product if you're using it to do some live streams. Uh, maybe you wanna use OB a system like OBS um, or you wanna use your DSLR as a webcam. I'm gonna see whether or not I can do that with my Canon um, ATD. Um, to replace the webcams that I have and uh, use this camera instead to get a better image like the image that you're seeing right now because that's what I'm filming with right now is the Canon 80D um, and just to see whether or not as well we can do some streaming uh, with the PlayStation 4 uh, connect it with OBS and see how well that the Elgato HD 60 Plus works so I'm going to do an unboxing now without any further ado let's do the unboxing Right, so here is the box for the HD 60S Plus. At the front, you see an image of the capture card for the, uh, 4K 60 uh, HDR, 1080p 60 uh, HDR capture, the USB 3, install game view. Okay, next level performance. At the back, we see the um, analog audio HDMI in and uh, USB type three, uh, USB three type C. Uh, so it will run better if you have a USB uh, three cable as opposed to USB two. I believe there's be some lag if you have don't have an uh, USB three connection on your PC. So maybe check that out or your Mac. Um, then you've got the HDMI out as well. Just so it's all displayed at the back. But anyway, let's open this bad boy up. I'm looking forward to this. Elgato. As you can see. Okay, so here's the inner box for the Elgato um, HD60S Plus capture card. Uh, very nice. As you open it up, here we go. We see here's the product, here's the capture card. Uh, the only difference between this and the one before, the HD60S, um, is just obviously the logo just now has the S60S Plus on it. Um, other than that, it's the same build, um, same structure, a little bit different, but that's that's about it. You wouldn't be able to tell just from looking at it from here. So that's that. And Elgato provide us with a HDMI to HDMI cable. So there's your HDMI connection. So that's the big HDMI connection. Um, obviously some cameras, you, you you need to check your camera if you're connecting your camera um, to a capture card just to check that it uses um, the HDMI, uh, the big one or the HDMI mini. Uh, but this one is the big HDMI cable that they provide you with. So that's that. Just leave that to the side. And the other cable that they provide us with is a USB type 3, which you can tell from like the blue uh, colored tint um, here and um, USB type 3 to USB C um, so that can be connected uh, to your PC or your Mac. So those are the cables and we have the Elgato logo that it comes with and an instruction book. So that is the unboxing for the Elgato capture card. Let's just see how this works. Let's connect it to our PlayStation and make the connection to our PC. See how that works. We're also going to try connecting it um, from our PC to our Canon ATD and um, see if we can use our Canon ATD as a webcam. Obviously, you're gonna have to check the specs on the Elgato website because they do have a list of all the cameras that you can use that provide a clean HDMI and the compatibility um, with, the, with their products. So do check to see uh, whether your camera is compatible uh, with the products, but they do have a long list of products that are cameras that are but do check but i'm using the canon 80d so for you guys who have a canon 80d uh, you'll be able to see the results in this video so let's take a look 
Okay, so the Elgato HD6 DS Plus is now connected. Um, those are the cables all connected. And I'll show you just briefly because don't mind me, there's a bit of a mess here with all the cable management. I know, I know. Um, but you've got your HDMI cable connected here. Um, so my PlayStation's set up here. Um, haven't turned it on yet, but PlayStation's here. And my Mac is right sitting right next to it there. So, we've got the HDMI cable plugged into the back of the PlayStation um, and that runs from here to here and it goes into the HDMI, sorry, the HDMI in, in port on this side, okay? And then the HDMI out cable here will go run from here to the back of this TV, this monitor here. And this is the monitor obviously I use to uh, display my PlayStation. Um, and then here we have a, a, an iMac and this USB type C connection is connected to the Elgato capture card. And that runs into the back of the USB port here and it connects to my machine. So that's the basic uh, setup. Um, obviously it's a bit messy there, but that's just to show you where the wires go and how to connect the, the, the capture card uh, from your PlayStation, running through a HDMI to HDMI to your capture card, and then from the capture card, running the HDMI back to the monitor, and then you use your USB Type-C uh, to USB 3.0 into your PC or Mac. So that's the wire setup for you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch on the PlayStation, uh, see if we can at least see the display. So, what I usually do, if I can find the button, <laughs> is go from Vega, which is displaying a dual uh, display on here, to HDMI. So now, that's flashing red. Um, the little LED light there is flashing red. Nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, nothing's happening on this. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. On your PlayStation, there's a specific setting that you need to go to. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, and then in settings, you wanna scroll down to system, Click on system and then there's a little option that says enable HDCP. You want to have that checked off. If you don't, then the um, Elgato capture card, it'll have trouble actually. Um, you won't, you'll find it won't work. So make sure you have that clicked off if you want to use it with the PlayStation. I'm not sure about Xbox or any of the other consoles because I own the PlayStation, but for the PlayStation, you have to make sure that that is switched off, that that's connected off, and then you'll find that it will work. So if you're having any problems in terms of it reading like I was, um, you just need to make sure that that is clicked off the enable HD PC is clicked off it does say um, if you do turn it off the, turn off these settings that some applications cannot work um, so I'm not sure what applications they're referring to so maybe check when um, check with your um, PlayStation to see what applications do and don't work when you have that switched off but for using your capture card make sure that that is switched off it should hopefully work now. So make sure you do that in your PlayStation settings if you want to connect to your capture card um, and do and connect it to your PC. You have to make sure that setting's set off first, okay? So, as you can see, now what we've done here is we have our PlayStation connected to OBS from the Elgato. It's working perfectly. It's just asking me to do little recognition and now it's mirroring my PlayStation to OBS and I can start streaming um, and use OBS to do my live streams if I want and as you can see you've got you've got my PlayStation screen on here and as you can see on my PC screen or on my Mac you've got the OBS mirroring what I'm doing on here okay 
So that's how you connect uh, your captured device to your PlayStation and to your PC or your Mac. Okay, so as you can see, I've managed to capture the DSLR footage from my Canon 80D using it as a webcam streaming through the OBS um, software. Problem is here, as you can see, you've got all the metadata. So you've got the 50 frames per second, the 2.8 um, for the aperture, the ISO 400, all displayed on the screen, battery, etc. And even the autofocus is framed on the uh, picture in the background, um, the autofocus square. So what we need to do is get rid of all this metadata. Because uh, obviously, if you're doing a live stream, you, you don't want your audience to see all this. So with the Canon 80D, the solution to get a clean HDMI is to look at the back of the camera and there is a button, uh, an info button. Um, now, what you want to do is press that button that says info a couple of times and it will change the metadata and get rid of that for you, as I'm about to demonstrate here. Because um, obviously, you don't want that displayed for your live streams. You don't want your audience seeing all this metadata. And there you go. You've got a nice clean HDMI output. Check with your particular camera to see how to do that and if you can do that. So with this capture card, you can use this to capture your DSLR footage or higher end camera, camcorder, instead of using a webcam uh, to do your live streams. If you're streaming to Facebook, YouTube, whatever, if you just wanna do a talking head video like this. So you can use the capture card as well, obviously to do streaming to OBS or other uh, streaming services uh, that you want to do rather than obviously streaming straight from your PlayStation 4 which I like doing anyway I think it's a great it's a great setup you don't necessarily need all the bells and whistles but if you want to add a bit more quality to your broadcast that's the way to do it you can't stream with this device and use a capture card to use the same capture card to record your um, your camera footage and your gameplay at the same time. For that, you'll have to purchase the Elgato CamLink 4K, um, which is like a little dongle. It's got a USB 3 port on one side and then a HDMI cable on the other, um, import on the other. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get that. You plug your HDMI into that device and then put it into your camera and then you can use that as a webcam straight from the computer. And then obviously you would use this little bad boy here, <laughs> this um, the capture card, to capture your footage for your from your PlayStation or your Xbox or whatever you're streaming from. So that's my review of the HD 60s Plus. Make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if I missed anything in the video. Uh, have you purchased this product? What did you think of it? Let other people know. Love to know your thoughts and there'll be links in the description below to where you can get this product. There are affiliate links, so I would get a small kickback, so at no extra cost to you, so much appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all things filmmaking. I'll have some more gear reviews and some more videos to do with filmmaking. And until next time, peace.